This is the Insta360 GO 3, and in my opinion, it's one of the most innovative cameras we've seen in a long time. It combines the small compact form factor of the GO 2 with the body of an action camera. In this video, we're going to cover several creative ways to use the Insta360 GO 3 in your next video. I'll drop a couple links in the description, that way you can use them to either purchase the GO 3 or to learn a little bit more about it. Now before we get into the creative shots, let's go over what's new on the Insta360 GO 3. The GO 3 now records in 2.7K, which is up from 1440p, and it has improved image processing, plus better image quality even in low light. It also has a 45 minute runtime, which has been increased by 50% versus the GO 2. It features a removable lens guard and a magnetic design just like the GO 2, making it easy to mount anywhere, especially when combined with the new accessories. We also have an upgraded microphone with new software features for improving the directional pickup pattern and Voice Control 2.0 for controlling the camera with just your voice. Start recording. Stop recording. Pro mode has been changed to free frame video mode, which now takes advantage of flow state and horizon lock, which adds the ability to reframe the video's aspect ratio in post and gives you the ultimate stabilization. For photos, we have pure shot HDR support combined with raw photo capture, which is great to see. There's also now pre-recording, loop recording, and time capture support, which are all great additions to Insta360's smallest, most affordable camera yet. Probably the most noticeable upgrade is the new Action Pod, which comes with a lot of great features. When the GO 3 is docked inside of the Action Pod, it extends the battery to 170 minutes. It also allows for remote control and live view of the GO 3, which is great. On top of that, the Action Pod features a flip up touch display that works perfect for vlogging. So, one of the cool things about the Insta360 GO 3 is that whenever it's docked in the Action Pod, it works just like a little vlogging camera. It reminds me of the Sony RX0 Mark II that I checked out a while ago. It has a flip up screen, and that screen is a touch screen, and that's how I can switch to the different modes. I can browse recorded clips, I can browse photos, I can tweak settings, so on and so forth. And it has a microphone on this, and the microphone quality is quite good. You're hearing it right now and I have a lot of background noise. I have traffic, a crying baby, a fountain, a lot of stuff. Let me know what you think of the image and audio quality from the GO 3. There's also a quick shortcut button on the action pod that can be used to switch to the different modes. You can also use the same accessories for the GO 3 on the action pod, giving you a lot of mounting versatility, which I absolutely love. There's a lot going on with the GO 3. So if you wanna see a follow-up review or just a tips and tricks style video, let me know. For now, let's get into those creative shot ideas. For this first shot, I wanted to simulate the probe lens, which is like a $1,700 to $2,500 lens that you can get for Canon, Sony, I believe they have it for Fuji and several other camera systems. But the problem is you have to have a camera and then you have to spend a lot of money on that lens, whereas I think we can accomplish it with just the Insta360 GO 2. So what you're gonna do is get a broomstick. You can pick these up at like Lowe's or other hardware stores, even Walmart. Then you need some type of metal magnet. Um, I picked a pack of these up for like four bucks at uh, Lowe's. It's just a piece of metal that you can use to cling onto things. And then some gaff tape. I put the gaff tape right here on the end of the broomstick. And then I take the magnet, I secure that. And then I just take the Insta360 GO 3. And then I just attach it to the magnet, just like that, or to the metal washer. And now I have a little probe lens. If you want a more premium version of the little contraption we just made, you could take an Insta360 invisible selfie stick like this one or a monopod or a light stand, anything that has a long pole-like design and it has to have a quarter 20 thread on the end. Then you can take the optional ball head that you can get, which is an accessory for the GO 3, unscrew it from the base, and you'll see on the bottom we have a little quarter 20 hole. So you could just take that and then screw it on to the invisible selfie stick or monopod, and then take the GO 3 and just attach it to the end right there. Now it's on nice and tight, it's not going anywhere. And you have the same thing, but it definitely looks a little bit better and it's going to function a little bit better because now you can tilt it down. So you can do a downward angle 
You could do an upward angle. You could do a lot of stuff. And you can even get that super long selfie stick from Insta360 and get crazy shots. Another cool thing you can do with the Go 3 is you can attach it to this little base that I just showed you and just secure it like that. Pop off this bottom cap. And this is really sticky. Like it will stick to anything. You can attach this to the dash of your car. And now you have like a little dash cam as long as you enable loop recording. So that's one thing. You can also do like a hyperlapse or time lapse. You could just do a video if that's what you want. You can also attach this to the outside of your car, but just be careful because even though this is secure, if you're going fast, it could still fly off. So you might want to use the magnet instead. So just detach it and take the Go 3 out and secure it to your car if you have any metal on your car and do it that way. It might hold a little bit better, but nonetheless, this is still a great option. You could always take the Go 3 out of the action pod and attach it to the ball head. That way you can monitor it while you're recording on the outside of your car. Another thing you can do is you can take this necklace mount right here, put this around your neck, put this under your shirt, then take the Go 3 out, secure it to the necklace mount, and then get like a POV shot while you drive. You could also use this for roller coasters if you're at a theme park or other various rides and get that cool POV effect with this little necklace attachment. It's really cool. One really cool thing about this ball head is if you notice that the sticky part is no longer sticky and it's covered in dust and dirt, like you can see mine's getting kind of dirty, you can just wash this with some soapy water and then let it dry and then the stickiness will come right back. So you could use it over and over and I love that. If you're anything like me, then chances are you've wanted a POV drone shot at some point in your life. Whether you're reviewing a drone or just want to get some cool behind the scenes footage, you wanted to be able to record the drone while it's flying in the sky and it's really hard to do that. So what I did, I took the PGY Tech Insta360 tabletop tripod and then I taped it first to the Mavic Air 2S and then I took some Velcro and Velcroed it to give it some more security. That way it doesn't wiggle around a lot in the sky. And then I took that ball head and I screwed it onto the tabletop tripod. And then I took the Go 3 and attached it to the tabletop tripod, just like that. Now it's lightweight. The Air 2S has no problems whatsoever supporting it. And I can get that cool POV perspective of the drone while it's flying. You definitely shouldn't use this for long term. Like if you're planning on flying the drone for a while, don't use this setup because the tape could come undone, the heat could heat up the adhesive and everything could fall off and you could lose your Go 3. But if you're just wanting a quick POV shot, this will definitely do the trick. Like look, it is holding up no problem whatsoever. Since we just talked about how you can use the Go 3 to capture a POV shot of a drone, what if you connected it to like an RC car like the Tesla Cybertruck that I have here? It looks really cool. So what you could do is take that ball head base and then make sure the adhesive is nice and sticky on the bottom and then just stick it to the back, the top, the front or wherever you want on the RC car. Take the Go 3, attach it to the top just like so, and then spin the ball head and get it in the position that you want. So whatever angle, if you want to shoot like this, you could do that. If you want to shoot straight up, you could do that. You can even have this go underneath the car, pending that the car is high enough and capture a really cool shot that way. Now, when you do this, you're going to want to put the Go 3 into free frame video mode. That way you can get the most stabilization and you can reframe it in case you want to share it on social media. And it's going to give you the most flexibility in post. But ultimately, you can capture a really cool perspective just connecting the Go 3 to an RC car like this one. And since the Go 3 is so small, you don't have to use a big RC car like this. You can actually use a much smaller one and you don't even have to use this mount. You could just take the Go 3 and then use gaff tape and tape it straight to the front. So there's a lot of things that you can do when it comes to capturing an interesting perspective using drones and RC cars like this. Another really neat way I've been using the Go 3 is on vacuum videos. So I've been attaching it to robotic vacuums or even stick vacuums to get a really interesting POV perspective. And you can see the robotic vacuums going underneath furniture. You can see them going around turns, bumping into things. And it just gives you a, a interesting dynamic to the video that a lot of people don't do. And I, and I really appreciate how small this camera is allowing me to get shots like this. 
Speaking of POV, you can take this little clip right here, which is an Insta360 GO3 accessory, and it's supposed to attach to hats. So you attach this to like the bill of your hat and you can get like a really cool POV perspective from your own personal view. But what I did was I took this and I clipped it to my dog's harness and I got a really interesting POV shot of walking my dog and it looks really, really cool. Like it's adorable. You get to see the world through a dog's eyes or even a cat's eyes because it's so light. You can easily clip this to their harness, to their collar, whatever. Just make sure you enable free frame video. That way you get the most stable footage and it's going to look pretty awesome. And even though this is not 4K, that 2.7K footage looks incredible. So the Insta360 GO3 is waterproof. However, the Action Pod is not. So as long as you take the GO3 out of the Action Pod, this is fully submersible. So what I did was I took the GO3, since it's magnetic, and attached it to the underside of my washer machine, since the lid is metal. And then I took an Aperture Amaran light that's waterproof, and I attached that right next to the GO3, and I got this really, really cool perspective of my clothes being washed. Now, I know this isn't useful for every single video, but if you're trying to tell a story or if you're reviewing a washer machine, it really does add an interesting dynamic to the video since it's a shot that you don't see very often. What do you think about that? All right, so I got a quick confession. I absolutely love fishing, and I've been diving into this rabbit hole of YouTube fishing content lately, and there's one specific style of video that I've been seeing a lot of, and that's people taking GoPros, hooking them to some fishing line, and then dropping them in the water. That way they can see what fish are around a dock, a pier, or even their boat. Well, you can do the same thing with the Go 3. So what I did was I took some nylon rope, which is like four bucks at Walmart, and then I took a Mondo tie, shout out to our Mondo, Condor Blue. So I took one of these and then I tied the nylon rope to it. And then I took the little ball head here that we keep using. I unscrewed it from the base, attached it to the Mondo tie, like so. And then took the Go 3 and attached it to the ball head, make sure that it's locked in nice and secure. And then I just dropped it around some really, really dirty water. Like I apologize for how awful the water looks. That is not the Go 3, that's the water. We've been getting a ton of rain here. It's been stirring up a lot of dirt and stuff. And I was trying to capture a gator for y'all. So that way you could see a gator underwater, but I don't know. I did the best that I could. The water was filthy, but you could see it still worked pretty good. And I did this over and over. I was out there for like two hours dropping this in some dirty, dirty water, but you know, it worked great and it still functions to this day. And I plan on doing this a lot more. So shout out to Armando for the Mondo tie and Insta360 for making a waterproof Go 3 that is uh, quite durable. It held up in that nasty water and I am quite impressed. So I have several more shot ideas for the Go 3 that I want to make a separate video on. If you're interested in seeing that video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below and let me know that you wanna see it. That comment goes a long way because it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. I have a ton of other ideas that involve like helium balloons and snorty cams and even roller coasters and stuff like that. So if you wanna see that content, I need to know. That way I know that, you know, the time that I put into it is going to be appreciated. But yeah, there's a lot of really awesome stuff you can do with this little camera. And that is why it is one of my favorite cameras ever made. Now, come on, be honest. Isn't the Go 3 one of the most innovative cameras you've ever seen? I mean, you could use it in a wide range of productions and just for awesome capture, giving you a really different perspective on your content. Let me know what you think of the Go 3 in the comments section below. Do you plan on picking one up? And if you do pick one up, how do you plan on using it? Because I think the, the usability of this thing is endless. I can't wait to see what you guys create. If you wanna show me, make sure to get at me on social media. You can see my Instagram handle right here. Go ahead and follow me and then tag me in any videos that you create with the Go 3 because honestly, the Go 2 was one of my favorite cameras and this one has taken its place and I absolutely love it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos just like this and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.